Welcome back. We've been talking about the impasse on Capitol Hill when it comes to the border. But that impasse isn't just about the border. Aid for Israel, Taiwan, and Ukraine are tied to the border negotiations, and this is a particularly urgent moment. The NATO secretary warned this week that Russia's invasion of Ukraine could have far-reaching consequences for global security, as China vows reunification with Taiwan. Security is not regional, security is global. What happens in Europe matters for Asia, what happens in Asia matters for, for, for Europe. And today it's Ukraine, tomorrow it can be Taiwan. And I'm joined now by Congressman Ami Barra, Democrat from California and the co-chair of the Congressional Taiwan Caucus. Congressman, thank you so much for joining us here. And you traveled to Taiwan earlier this month. What did officials there say they needed most from the U.S.? You know, first off, we traveled there to congratulate them on a successful democratic election. Um, really what they need is the support of the United States Congress, the administration, and we went there to reiterate our strong support. The Taiwan caucus is the largest bipartisan caucus in the United States Congress, so, you know, really to express that support. Now, they also need um, the defensive weaponry to protect their own island, um, to protect their own sovereignty. And again, this is not about changing the status quo. It's about maintaining the status quo and peace and prosperity across the strait. And Congressman, I'm, I'm really so glad we have you on because you know, aid to Taiwan has really been overshadowed in the supplemental funding request with funding for Israel, funding for Ukraine, and of course the border. So if Congress cannot agree to funding for those other things, what gives you any, uh, any hope that Taiwan will be any different? Well, I think we've got to do all three because they're all three interrelated. Um, you can guarantee that Beijing is watching our response to Vladimir Putin's illegal invasion of Ukraine. They, you know, I think they were startled with how quickly we came together, put together a coalition in Europe, and how steadfast we've been allow helping and supporting the people of Ukraine fight for their own independence and their own sovereignty. That gives um, Beijing pause if they're thinking about doing anything across the strait. But now, if, if we were not to continue funding Ukraine, I think that would be a bad signal um, to Beijing. And Congressman, I take your point that you believe that uh, Congress should do all three, but should aid to Taiwan be a standalone bill? Well, at, at the end of the day, we will, in the budgetary process, provide a lot of funding to Taiwan through the, the foreign ops appropriation bills and so forth. But I think we ought to do the, the, the supplemental with all three pieces, because aid to Ukraine is incredibly important, aid to Taiwan is incredibly important, and we want to maintain um, the Middle East, and we don't want this to escalate into a more regional war. So that aid's important as well. And Congressman, I want to turn now, though, to that border deal. Is there anything short of H.R. 2 that you think your Republican colleagues would actually support? You know, I, I would hope so, and I would hope that, you know, a lot of us as Democrats are going to take some heat from, you know, some of our base voters as well, but we do have a problem on the southern border. We've got to address that. That will only get worse with climate change, with outward migration. So let's come up with a long-term strategy. Let's not make this about the next election or politics. Let's make this about sound policy, and that means compromise. And, Congressman, can President Biden win in November if the situation at the border remains the same? You know, I think he can win in November, but I think President Biden has been forthright saying, hey, Congress, work with me so we can strengthen our border and protect our borders because it is increasingly a challenge in a lot of Democratic cities. Congressman Ami Barra, thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. And I know you have to go vote, so we'll let you go do that. Thank you so much for being with us here at this hour. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.